Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Allison Zimmerman. Our top story at noon in an unexpected court appearance. Michael Cohen, the president's longtime attorney and confidant, has pleaded guilty to lying to Congress. It has to do with talks about a Trump real estate deal in Russia. NBC's Blaine Alexander has more on this developing story from Washington. Today, a major development in the Russia investigation. President Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen, has pled guilty to lying to Congress. Cohen was once among President Trump's closest confidants. Today, he told a federal judge in New York he lied to the Senate Intelligence Committee last year about a project to build a Trump Tower in Russia. That project never happened, but Cohen says he lied about the timing of those discussions out of loyalty to President Trump. Today, the president tried to distance himself from his one-time confidant. He's a weak person, and what he's trying to do is get a reduced sentence. So he's lying about a project that everybody knew about. We had a position to possibly do a deal to build a building of some kind in Moscow. I decided not to do it. When I run for president, that doesn't mean I'm not allowed to do business. I was doing a lot of different things when I was running. After I won, obviously, I don't do business. The development significant because it signals another layer of cooperation between the special counsel and someone once considered among the president's inner circle. Lane Alexander, NBC News, Washington.